What uh, are your plans for your Oscar speech? <laughs> so, well, there's. I think it's more problem for Marenade at the moment, so I'm very. I, I'm, I'm not thinking about it. Yeah, of course, uh, the the nomination would be extremely good for the same reason than these other awards. Very useful to. Uh, have some uh, extra attention for film, which is impossible to sell without these awards. When we talk to you, name that uh, the film is based on real characters, obviously, and they are still alive. And are they watching how the movie goes? So, for instance, do they know that uh, you won this precious prize, or will you share with them, or how does it go? Uh, well, Raya is very active in. Facebook that, and and she I think Saul got just, just some uh, message for from her and yeah they are following it then they have seen the film at least seven times already and they are also I don't know if you have seen the film but but in the last scene you can also see the real Ryan or just watch the film itself there's a nice ending. <laughs> But please, watch the whole film. <laughs> Another question over there. Hi, congratulations. Uh, what's, your, what's your next next film project uh, and when do you s stop uh, doing promotion for this film? Do you know it? Uh, well, I, <coughs> I hope I could concentrate more on my next films. I, I think I'm late from my original schedule because this autumn has been a big move traveling but now I have only one festival for this year and then then let's see what happens with the Oscars but if we are not uh, shortlisted or nominated I think uh, I can start working on my next film in the beginning of next year uh, no I, I I don't think so <laughs> maybe yeah I, 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 I won't promise anything because that's, that's a trap. Hi, um, I have a question over here. Um, or maybe Americans will love it because Americans love boxing films. Um, and, but your film is kind of an anti-boxing film in a way. Everything that you expect to happen in a boxing film, the opposite happens. Um, were you playing with that, playing with the genre? Um, what were your thoughts on... on did you want to make an anti-boxing film in some sense? Yeah, well, uh, well, first of all, about the Americans, the American opponent also wins that fight, so maybe, maybe they like it. Uh, uh, well, only Mackey is a very, uh, he, he was a peculiar boxer, some, something that never, did not fit in the role of a masculine boxer hero that we, we think when we are thinking about boxers and to make a portrait out of him I think you need to make a boxing film that doesn't fit in the role of the, of the boxing genre and because I think it's it's more truthful to all his character yeah he was a guy who was mostly smiling and, and actually refused to knock out <laughs> How did that, where did the idea come from? Because it's such an, un, as you just described, such an unusual guy to make a, a boxing film about. What was the first spark of the idea for you? I think it was uh, this contradiction between him and this, his uh, person and uh, the sport that he was doing. There's a huge gap with the, with, between this and um, yeah, well, I was also, well, I was, first I got interested about this guy, and then when I started to do research, I also started to relate this guy, because, uh, well, obviously it's my first film, <coughs> but also we were already, uh, we won with the stu my previous student film, we won the Cine Foundation section in Cannes, so we knew because part of that prize is that they will invite your first feature to be the, in the official selection. So when I was writing this, I already knew that I had this big chance 
like chance of a lifetime, like he did in '62, and then he actually starts to think, does he want it, and does it make him uh, happy or sad or whatever. So I, I, I think all these things that I read about him, the way he said, I, I, I felt those could be my my lines as well. And it was nice to deal with this, uh, your own personal emotions that I was going through as a filmmaker with this setup. Because it's so distant that you can, it's easier to laugh. But you got in the ring and you did do the fight and you actually won. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we won that we, we thought we are going to lose. <laughs> it was easier to, to write the story and to be, try to be funny and, and light when you had the possibility that you were actually laughing to the possible catastrophe. But yeah, it turned out to be quite nice.